Hello everybody, it's Mirialda here once again, and welcome back to an Amiyami package. Yes, we've got an Amiyami package, and it had quite the journey. You may notice my arm is all scratched up. Well, that's because we just had it like a tornado warning a little bit ago, and I had to get Milo safe into the basement, and he wasn't happy. So I got all scratched up, but we're all safe, everything's okay. And then Molly got here right after that, so... Luckily, the DHL driver was safe, too. But anyways, we've, like I said, we've got Amiyami box. It's a nice 100 size box, so shipping wasn't too horrible. I'll spin around this way, and we'll get this box open so that we can get the pretty fox lady out of here. Yes, I already told you her name, and I already told her she, you, she's a fox lady, so yay. <laughs> so got the Amiyami thank you card. So it's a sideways one. So you got Amiko and Liliko and they're wearing aprons and a tie and everything. And they're showing off the Amiyami store. Let's see. We got a bunny here. And we got all sorts of little figures. That might be Bremerton. But anyways, that's that. There's the uh, side, or back. Uh, she's at, uh, looks like a convention. I wonder if that was one fest. Okay, let's get this box open. We've got the Amiyami paper, so hopefully it's not the stupid uh, plastic. Yeah, it's just paper. So there we go, there is the figure. I've been waiting for her for a while. Go and get that box out of the way. is we'll rip the tissue paper and there is the cutie <clears throat> okay let's adjust the camera a bit and do a zoom and shove her back some so this forgive my pronunciation because I'm gonna suck at it but this is Huahu Moli the Mo Shangli Qin version of her so, from what I could tell by translations, it is the Painted Fox Moli, and I guess Mo Shangli Shin was actually an actual person that lived 1884 to 1941, and he was a poet slash writer. So yeah, it's Moli. She is an original character. She is a 1-7 scale figure manufactured by Anna Mester. Uh, Moli released on June 28th, 2024 in China and in Japan. Still not sure, but I'm going to say uh, August 1st because that's when Amiyami got her. Other stores still haven't, I guess. Uh, she cost me 18,150 yen pre-ordered at Amiyami or $126.29. I ordered her on September 30th of 2023. I paid on August 1st of 2024. She shipped out on August 3rd and got here today on August 6th because DHL decided to delay her a day, even though she was sitting in their warehouse. So yay. Uh, there is the front of her box. There is the side of her box. There's the back of Molly's box. And the other side. There's the top. Okay, so this calls her the Fox Fairy Moly version. And we'll spin pretty boring bottom. I mean, it is like patterned, but nothing super exciting. Let's see if we can bring her a little closer now. We'll cut the three seals on the top. And we'll get her out. So I've watched some videos. I had to search for them, but... She is going to be relatively simple to assemble because she's one piece and she's got an umbrella to put into her armpit, and that's about it. We'll go ahead and pull her out of the book, out of the box. There is a piece of paper in here. Uh, inside of the box is boring. There is no design or anything. So we'll put that off to the side and put the blister of moly on the table tilt down uh, so this looks to be just some image and some simple instructions 
So yeah, put that back in the box so I don't lose it. And we'll spin Molly in her blister. So there she is from the front and now the side on the back and then the other side and back to the front. So yeah, we'll go ahead and tilt her over and then yep, there's tape on the side so we'll cut that. Spin her around, around, around and cut some more tape. And pop Molly open. Come on. Okay, we'll pull out her umbrella. Try to pull out her umbrella. So this is not a plastic umbrella, it is paper and wood. And it is functional, so it can fold and unfold. I don't recommend you uh, mess with it too often. And the one video I saw, the guy was insistent on trying to pull off this piece of paper on top, even though it's glued on. And it's got a little pointed tip, so it's kind of like a toothpick. But you kind of just peel it apart. And then you can see the inside. It's got the ribs and everything, and then you've got the little plastic piece there to push on, and then it's got this little plastic uh, rubbery piece here that once you open it, you shove that up and it holds it open. So get that shoved up, and you can see how what it's. Basically all toothpicks it looks like, but it is very well put together. And it's got a nice uh, tree design with flowers. Don't know exactly what it is. Looks like maybe some birds too. But that's the umbrella. And you can adjust if it's open all the way or just a little bit. We'll see once we get her out and how she, the umbrella fits on, into her arm. So we'll just undo some plastic set her down so that we can get this blister out of the way. And then Moldy has some plastic on her as well. So on her tail, between her tail and her hair, uh, her hand. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, I saw this and on the video and it is quite difficult. So I'm going to use a tool if I can. Try to grab a hold of it. There we go. And like I said, there is no assembly on the main figure. So there is Molly out of the blister. So we'll do a spin and then we'll do some close ups, and then we'll put the umbrella in and see some stuff. So, yay, spin time! Uh, I just noticed there's like some crud right there on the edge, but that'll be fine. I'll look at it later. Very textured and detailed back of the scroll. There's Smoley from the back. Just spin her around. She's got her all of her tails and everything. She's a cute fox. And she's coming out of the painting. So, when I first read Painting Fox Moly, I thought she was an artist. And it was only the other day, like two days ago, that I realized, no, that means she's coming out of the painting. She was on the scroll, and now she's coming out. Kind of like the uh, trees are, and the rocks and everything. So, let's, uh, we'll shaky cam this. Bring her a little bit closer, maybe. So if we look at her face, you do see she has a red mark on her nose. That's the one thing I don't really care for on her. She's got red marks on her cheeks too, but those could be considered blush. She does have a beauty mark under her eye. She's got really pretty green eyes too. Let's tilt her down so she can get some light. 
Her mouth is open. We see teeth and a tongue, and we see fangs. It's got nice, beautiful white hair and long, long ears. And by white hair, I mean like cream colored. Uh, she is wearing kind of a china dress, but it's not covering very much. She is not a very busty girl, but she's got some mounds there. And then this is something that has been hard for everyone to determine, but I believe this dress is kind of like a leotard. So it's kind of like a swimsuit. So you can see her crotch down there. And that's like just part of her dress. A uh, little bit of detail, but not a whole lot. Um, she's got some painted fingernails on her toes. Toes are all one piece, but sculpted very well. She's got some ribbon wrapped around her ankle. And the other foot. And she's got her one tail going between her legs, giving her some modesty. She's also trying to cover it with her uh, hand. Looks like all the fingers are separate. You see the sculpting in the knuckles. You see painted fingernails. Her other hand is up by her head and she is making the little fox sign. So the ring and middle finger and the thumb are one piece and then the point index and pinky are separate making the ears. It's got a nice little uh, necklace on her. Tied in a bow and looks like a flower pendant holding the straps together. Um, I have seen this on several other pictures of her. But her shoulder has kind of this line. I think that's meant to be like a scar. So if you get her, that is intentional. It is supposed to be there. It's not a flaw or mistake or anything. Uh, her, the back of her hair, good sculpting. It's got a slight gradient to a darker cream at the bottom, at the tips. And her tails are cream gradiented to a dark, dirty gray. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like she's only a seven-tailed fox. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so she's only got seven tails. She's not a nine-tailed fox. Uh, we got some rocks. Uh, she is being held up by some the ribbons going over her lap. And they are translucent plastic. She does have this red uh, charm on her hip, the nice uh, green bead, and it looks like she is also attached to the uh, scroll with her tail. Uh, looks to be kind of like a waterfall scene painted back there. Again, you got the little trees with flowers growing out of the scroll. And then you've got a little poem, I'm guessing that was written. Someone did a Google Translate on it, and it says, Every night a fox comes to my house. Since then, I have kept the door closed. Why you would uh, try to lock out Molly? I don't know. She is cute. Maybe she's a deviant troublemaker. <laughs> Let's see. If we tilt her down, we do see uh, her underwear. Well, kind of the dress strap. So maybe it, yeah, it's really hard to tell. Let me uh, put the phone away so I can use both hands and get a good look. Because we see this, the underwear there between her tails. Her, the ribbon and her arm is in the way. Okay, so you know how I said it was kind of like a swimsuit or a leotard? I'm, I was wrong. It's just a shirt and she's got her underwear. It's very hard to tell, but you can see the shirt overlapping it up there. It's got this uh, like gold trim. So yeah, that's her underwear. It's not the dress. Speaking of the dress, there is a nice blue floral pattern on it. Um, her arms and boob is welded on this side. This arm is a separate piece, as you can tell by the armband. And 
She's got a little bit of a spine line back there, not a whole lot of detail on her back. Uh, we do see her clavicle, and we also see the hole where the umbrella goes. So, speaking of the umbrella, well, there's the bottom of the base. So it says, Animister, all rights reserved. Go ahead and set her down. And we'll get the umbrella inserted into the hole in her arm. Just be careful. So it doesn't really stab in very far. So if you move her around, be quite careful with her, especially with this umbrella. As I said, it's not plastic, it's just paper. So it would be very easy to rip it. We'll push her back. Let's do a zoom spin. I should have done this before I put the umbrella in. So we'll push the camera forward. So yeah. Um, her head is tilted downwards, so higher shelf if you can. And then she's kind of looking off to the side at you, so you kind of want her like that. But she is just a cute little fox girl. And then you get the big giant scroll blocking your view of her. Yeah, she is cute. I remember when she first came up for order, we were kind of curious about her, not in sure if we were if people were going to order her or not. And then I just said, yeah, she's cute. So we'll spin here. We'll spin this way and see her tails. Yeah, it's kind of odd that she's only a seven tail. Because almost always it's either one, two, or nine. <laughs> but it's neat how she's just like floating there and everything and she's coming out of the painting. didn't see what I did at all because I was zoomed in and the camera's pointing down. But the umbrella is in her hand, well her armpit. And we'll spin. So yeah, moly. So again, if you get her, be careful with the umbrella. If you break it, could probably just go buy a paper cocktail umbrella and use it in its place but it is what it is so anyways this is hua hu moli or the paint painted fox moli uh the mo sheng li Qin version uh she is an original character uh, she is manufactured by animester and is a one seven scale figure Moli released in China on June 28th of 2024. She came into stock around uh, August 1st of 2024 in Japan at Amiyami. Uh, I paid 18,150 yen for Moli, or $126.29. She is a cutie. Let's see if we uh, adjust the stand a little bit. Get kind of a lower view of her face. And we'll just spin real quick. Let's see if I drop the light down and light up her face a little bit better, too. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, she is a cutie. I am happy with her. I just have to find a place to put her, but very cute. I hope you enjoyed. I do have another figure that is being shipped to me as we speak. Maybe tomorrow. It's estimated to be delivered on Thursday, but maybe tomorrow. We'll see. I hope you enjoyed, Molly. I, I know I do. 
I will see you soon with uh, Silver Veil. See you then. Bye-bye.